Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Blind Reaction, My Little Pony, I don't remember. The only thing I remember is the, the episode called Viva Las Pegasus. And there's the first strike of this episode. They should have called it Viva Las Pegasus. And no, 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 Viva Las Pegas, I think, instead of Viva Las Pegasus. Because it sounds better, you know. It's Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Pegas. Instead of, instead of Viva Las Pegasus. Sounds stupid. I don't like it. Um, I've actually seen five minutes of this episode. The first five minutes. Because I was recording. And then in the middle of my recording. Everything just got fucked up. So I lost all that footage. So the first five minutes are not blind. But after that it is. So... Yeah, also, if you see right there, or right here, I don't see, but up here, uh, I just finished my Dark Souls playthrough on my on my, another channel. And it was the first time I played Dark Souls. I've never played any of the Dark Souls games or Demon Souls. So it's very fun, a very intense experience. So... Yeah, it's 83 parts. I'll only link the first part and then whatever. So let's start the episode in 3, 2, 1, go. The map is sending us where? Yes. Las Pegasus? But Las Pegasus is a wild vacation spot. It's just one big party. All those lights and sounds. Uh, to mention the crowds. Yes, it's, it's, it's pretty cool it that it's a... Uh, Applejack Fladdershy you know, episode. Like of of I do have and my suspicion, like, like I said before, the you wouldn't know, because Probably not as bad I think as this think. episode is gonna be, it just be a loud, it's kind of bad, just right? because, or that's what I thought as soon as I saw them, because it's Applejack Fladdershy, they are a cute pair, and we all always see, you know, when things get a bit scary or whatever, Fluttershy seemed to seek comfort in Applejack, like she seems to hug Applejack a lot. So I, it sees that, you know, between those two, Applejack is kind of like a little bit like a, the big sister uh, when it, between Fluttershy and Applejack. So they have a good dynamic, I like their dynamic. I'm just a bit afraid of how the episode is going to be. Um, because they're not my favorite ponies. They are good ponies, but not part of my favorites. Yeah. God damn it, look at this. I really like all the new designs, whatever. Maybe it's just me the things that are new, because <laughs> I completely forget how background ponies look, because I don't care about background ponies. Look at that flank right there. Of course, we have to find it first. And make sure to experience our signature show, Pony Fantastic. Trust me when I say you've never seen anything like it. Unparalleled this is something the Flame Flame Brothers would be great at. Your only regret will be that you didn't see it sooner. <laughs> and like everything at this amazing... Yeah, also that red pony with the hotel, turquoise mane looks awesome. I like his build. Like um... Ba -ba -da -ba. Wow, this Gladman sure seems impressive. Yeah. Well, look, it is a little embarrassing. He's amazing. But the crowd seem to like <laughs> Mr. Gladman? Just Call glad me Gladman. And it's a pleasure to meet actual cohorts of the Princess of Friendship. The Thank cohorts. You. Oh, man. You know who he Of course he does. I'm what you might call a friendship connoisseur. So naturally, I'm familiar with the friends of the Great Twilight Spark. Well, not only you don't need it to be a friend. Oh, and those are the tour tourists from the Masala place. Uh, oh, they're from Mississippi, whatever. maybe looking for lights, music, and parties, but working hard and making friends is how I turn this hotel into what it used to be. Yeehaw! Plan to make it even bigger. I like how he talks. 
Kapling, kapling. That's pretty nice because getting them all. I'm just about to do my rounds and check on my friends who work here. We do have a friendship problem to find. Lead the way, Mr. Gladmain. Just Gladmain now, you hear? <laughs> Gladmain, you're just in time to see my newest move. Uh, she looks amazing, and it's kind of like that. Like all the mares, I feel like I want to come inside of them. Look at that. That's awesome. Mr. Gladman himself is here. Ho -ho. Let's run through the whole routine. Now don't make a fuss for old me. I'm just going to keep on giving a tour to my new friends, Applejack and Fluttershy. Uh, before I saw the Flim Flam Brothers, I thought that this episode would be about him in the fact that he kind of like, he feels like since everyone is so good friends with him, he can no longer actually mean the things he say. So he, he's just playing up him being nice. And, but he doesn't get any satisfaction from having friends or something. That's what I thought it was going to be before I saw the Flim Flam Brothers. Because, let's see, it comes pretty soon. I saw the Flim Flam Brothers, then we saw them bickering, and then the, everything got get, gone to shit. Friendship problem in Las Pegasus, it'd be like trying to find a needle in a stack of needles. Whatever pony seems to be getting along just fine. Not hard then. If finding a needle in a stack of needles, it shouldn't be hard. I know you've come to this fair city to be entertained, and I assure you there is nothing more entertaining than the astounding acrobatics in Gladmain's pony fantasy. Now, I suppose that might be true if it weren't for the existence and far superiorly entertaining presence of the show stopping exotic animal act that Pony Fantastic concludes. Those voices sound familiar. Wait, let's see. Sure because do. it might just be an Flim act. Uh, shut the fuck up. Why, Apple cuck. Go fuck yourself. Except to say that if you were to consider like, at first I thought, me, and I still I actually think this a bit, you, that them bickering like this is just a way to get, I would say, yeah, for people to get a bit tricked like that, and then they just buy more and more. <laughs> Which, is nothing wrong in that. Their job is to sell tickets. <laughs> Don't seem to be getting along. <gasps> you don't suppose we've been brought here to help them? And absolutely not. And right there, it stopped. Oh my, the perfect. So now everything's blind. But anyway, fuck you, Applejack. Stop being a grumpy bitch. The Flim Flam Brothers are amazing. Well, of course that's true. For any pony but them. Uh, Applejack, I'm sorry fucking, you had to see that. I hate I Applejack. I fucking hate her <laughs> at the moment. It might be my bias because I love the Flim Fam brothers. I guess it just made matters worse. Trust me, I know those ponies, and you're better off with them apart. All right. Them together will cheat the hooves right out from under you. Maybe. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Flam's such a show pony, and Flam has such a head for business. Why, if they ever did work together, they'd be running this place in two shakes. Uh, Maybe which, that's how I've it's going to end now. Y'all enjoy your stay now. You they're going to help those two, and then they're going to take sure over the hotel. Sure Not the hostile takeover. But... Um, because it seems like he actually don't I want to be the leader anymore, or the owner. No because how often he says, oh, please don't call me mister, I just want to be friends, blah blah blah. So I think it might be that. 
thinks of me, all show and no substance. Well, if he's so smart, he should have no trouble becoming a big success on his own. Ooh, why, he's the greatest sales pony that ever lived, of course. Just ask him, he'll tell you all. <laughs> I'm sure you could work out your differences if you just sat down and talked to each other. No. I'm never speaking to that pony again. Oh. Hmm. At least you're trying, Apple. Flutter shy. Applejack is just being a worthless cunt. Stubborn like always. I guess that's the. the you are ruining my soul. It isn't just your show. Oh, right. I'm improving it. You don't pull a rabbit out of a hat on the trapeze! That's the point! <laughs> to give the audience something they've never seen before! Acrobatic magic! Ta-da! Ta it's called blending genres, and it's awesome! Oh, see This is gonna be- oh my god. do something? <laughs> They've been doing this since they started working here. Too bad, really, if they ever stop shouting at each other, we could take the show on tour. They'd be way more successful than staying at Glad Mains. Hmm. <laughs> now that sounds like a real friendship problem. Stop! What are you doing? It's supposed to be a pink prairie dog pyramid. It's alliterative. Oh, it's awesome. You said a tower. Why do you keep changing everything? <laughs> Oh, I'm not changing anything. You are those two it. supposed to be those two gay German guys that had a, that got attacked and eaten by their lions? I think so. I thought you two got along. We do. We used to, but we just can't seem to agree on anything anymore. We used to perform all over. Equestria. Oh my god! But if they can't agree on a new act, we might as well stay at Gladmains forever. So it's gonna be like when they are in Glad's Mains. Everyone starts. All right. So it is like that. Uh, Gordon Ramsay. Three big friendship problems all in the same place. Well, I think it's. those two not being friends isn't a problem. Shut the fuck up, Applejack. Sounds like he's better off with them fighting. Eat your watermelon soup. The other pony's problems seem to be good for Gladmane too. Both the trapeze show and the animal act would be all right. So it is left, him. He's manipulating so them or something, so he can earn money. I don't know, but I'm starting to think we should find out. All right. Of course, Gladman wants every pony to get along. He's the nicest, most genuine pony I've ever met. Did the director put you up to this? Hmm. I tell you, if Gladmane is your friend, you are welcome backstage. <laughs> but if you are speaking of him poorly, you leave. They're like, oh Gladmane shit. Gladmane is the kindest, most gentle, most compassionate pony I've ever known. My problem is with, with him. him. Oh, and then the animals can be like, this is the real problem. The only pony who benefits from all this feud is Gladmane. But by all accounts, he's the best friend any of these ponies have. Well, Bernard, that adorable bunny from the acrobats hat, claims that every morning, Gladmane tells the director that the star wants control of the show. And every afternoon tells the star uh. that the director wants to get rid of her. But neither is true. And the flying prairie uh, ma pink prairie he's a bit uh, so manipulative. Manipulation. The he is, is plus five in, <laughs> in manipulation. It's just a load of apple yeah, it's bullshit. I was right. Oh, I was right in the beginning. I can't believe it. I was right. <laughs> Not really that way. I knew he was bullshitting. But I didn't know this was because of him. Yes. Guess bringing Flim and Flam back together might be why we're here. Mate. Uh, it's, pro it's one of the reasons why you're here. Sorry if I don't take the word of some pony off the street. <laughs> even if that street is in Ponyville. But Gladmane is behind so many other friendship problems. How can you be sure he isn't the cause of yours? Because the only problem I have is standing right there. <laughs> Same here, Buster. 
Do Bust we even, it? even know what you're fatting over? Of course. Gladly let me know that ex-brother of mine thinks I'm just a mouthpiece without a single good idea. Gladmane assured me this fraternal <laughs> fool here thinks I couldn't sell heat lamps to yaks. Sounds to me like neither of you said those things. Why'd you believe Gladmane when he said you did? Why would he lie? Because he's afraid that the two of you together. <laughs> Come on, you two should know why anyone would lie. And if I'm telling you he said it, you know it's the absolute truth because uh, you never lie. She does lie. You know she does. I think it's time for a little payback. The Cantalot two step? Mm, we don't have the chickens. How about the boat to mare flare? Oh, my flare isn't what it used to be. Listen here, y'all. If you're a friend of mine, you're entitled to a free night stay. And every pony here is a friend of mine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you thinking what I am? The high roller? All right. So I wonder, how are they gonna get control of everything? Because it seems like they're gonna get control of their business. Truth about Gladmane. That is assuming you two are willing to help. What size gown do you wear? So I guess they like the redemption story. What's all the fuss now? It's the grand matriarch of the rich family. Impossibly rich. She's one of the wealthiest ponies in Equestria. All right, that's fair shy. Some pony tell me. You know how I like to give VIP guests my personal touch. Well, she's not exactly a guest. Word is she's planning a resort of her own. I think she's here to scout the competition. Oh, no, she's not. And with her bits, she can take over the whole strip, hire away any pony she wants. And not me, of course. I love it here. My good-for-nothing brother on the other hook. <laughs> <laughs> Impossibly rich. What an honor it is to have you at my humble five <laughs> resort. I'm sure Flam has done an excellent job showing you around, but nothing What's can beat a personalized tour from the man himself. <laughs> oh yeah. You'll have to excuse Miss Rich. She saves the energy other ponies spend talking out loud and uses it to make more money. <laughs> She'd love a personal tour. Say in uh, about an hour. Well, that sounds right pleasant. And if you can break away for a moment, Flam, I'd love to see you in my office so I can get ready. All right. Phew. Are all of you sure this is a good idea? Of course. Absolutely. How did Flame Flam ever had a bad idea? Good. I sure hope you two know what you're doing. Oh, don't you worry. When it comes to throwing ponies off their game, <laughs> two ponies do it better than us. Yeah, you're the greatest. Can't argue with that. Come on, Applejack. You need hey, to trust them a bit more. Impossibly rich is just about ready for that tour. So what do you want to see me about? You're Actually, fired. Actually, I want you to see. The grand plan. Every hotel on this strip is amazing as this one. And every one of them mine. All right. And all it'll take is a little sales pony ship like this. Hey there, friends. Oh, if you think my resort is fantastic, wait till you see Pony Fantastic. Tickets are on sale now. Two for the price of one. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Now, I know Impossibly Rich has probably been made you a tempting offer to come work for her. Well, uh, now that you mention it, and as your friend, I'd never tell you what to do. But no pony's gonna stand in the way of my plans, no matter how rich she is. And I right. sure wouldn't want you to end up on the losing side. Think you might consider staying here? Yeah. Uh, well, sure. Right, yeah. They're coming. All right, Madame Rich. And last but not least, Miss Rich. Oh, sure. Miss Rich. I thought it was Madame. Impossibly wants you to know she's very impressed, but doesn't think you can keep a resort of this caliber going for long. Oh, and why is that? <laughs> because you've got the best talents in the industry. What stops them from just leaving to join any competitor? <laughs> well, you see, I have a trick for that, I must confess. <laughs> and it all has to do with how I handle my employees. And how is that? I paid them. Well, like friends, of course. And I treat every one of my employees with the kindness. <laughs> uh, that, 
that's it. That's your <laughs> secret. There's nothing else. Nope. Nope. Just friendship. But you know all about friendship, don't you? Fluttershy. <gasps> you know dun, dun, dun. time. Of course. Never try to con a con pony. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, that was nice. Oh, look, look at his flank. Man, I want to fuck them. Well, now maybe it is. I don't care. Meanness that works. Unlike your pathetic little claw. I practically invented the high roller hustle. But I suppose I should be impressed. You're the only ponies to ever figure out the secret to my success. It takes a lot of work keeping every pony fighting. But as long as I keep them convinced that I'm their only friend, all of Las Pegasus will be mine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Drink a confession out First Las Pegasus, like me, then Equestria. Always one step ahead. Well, you better check your hooves because you just stepped in a confession. Oh no. Oh no, what, what wait, wait. Did that sound okay? Never better. Flam and Flam told us you'd see right through the fake rich pony bit. Oh. And that once you did, you wouldn't be able to resist gloating about it. This was all part of the plan. Alright, so there were two tips two steps ahead. I can explain everything. I think you've done enough of that. Oh. <laughs> I oh, Klaus! Almost ruin our friendship and our act. Yeah, Klaus. It's fine. Wait, Wait, he doesn't no. have. Oh no, we probably have pants on. It's not that he doesn't have a cute mark. Yeah. Oh, they're just gonna tear it down like that? Wait. If it for your history, so Flame, just because of that, now they're gonna race so everything. At least let him sell this and stuff. You, Jesus Christ, a question is a shithole. You do one thing wrong and everything gets fucked up. Look, nice they ruined. In fact, we like to think of it as a once in a lifetime opportunity. Emphasis on the what. <laughs> We're taking over, bitch. While this establishment undergoes a slight change in management, my brother and I want to assure you that it remains the pinnacle of Las Pegasus Entertainment, which is why we invite each and every one of you to experience the wonder of the Pony Fantastic Theater. Oh -ho. The normal cost of admission. And uh, while you're appreciating this historic venue, uh, totally devoid of performance of any kind, we invite you to use the. I have a bit of a problem. I guess I'll say it at the end. Alright. Little Pony. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Here's my biggest problem with this. Why? It, it was like, alright, he said this. Then 15 minutes, 15 minutes later, let's fucking race everything. And now they have control over the establishment. What? You want me to believe that Flim and Flam had enough money to, if he wanted to just sell it, to buy it from him? No, they must have used some of that Twilight Princess privilege and fucking just taking everything from him and then distributing. Like, what? No, that's bullshit. He should not have been like punished like that. They just destroyed everything he had now. So that's moronic and well I guess we can see a little bit of the equestrian justice system you know uh, if if someone that's friends with a princess done something then that's fine kind of like when Rainbow Dash almost killed a whole city with with her being I don't know idiotic in what's called ta tanks for the members not only did she almost kill everyone in the what's it called the place where flash and rainbow grew up and uh, cloudsdale but also almost everyone in ponyville 
Oh, that's fine, that's fine. You know, because it's Rainbow Dash and he's friends with Twilight Sparkle. But this guy, I don't know, being a little bit mean and getting some money and pitching friends against each other by lying. Nope, he's, we're gonna take everything from him. Just like that. Moronic. Absolutely moronic. And fuck, it makes me really hate this episode. That little thing. Uh, but anyways, more about the episode. The episode in itself was... Eh, wasn't one of my favorites. I think... Uh, like I said in the beginning... I... I didn't really enjoy that much episode. It wasn't that funny. It wasn't really that... I would say that deep. It was mostly like... Oh, blah, 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 we're going here. Oh, everyone's so good friends. But me being the genius I am, knew that that guy was bullshitting. But I didn't know that he was bullshitting by lying to all these other people. And then keeping them there. I thought he was just lying because he don't. he's not actual friends with anyone. But him just acting like he's friends with everyone is going to be... And I think that was how they were gonna be like. You need to be honest, you like. But no, it it wasn't like that. But, 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 but. All right. <laughs> Fuck this episode. <laughs> uh, that's what. That's the pinnacle of what I'm saying. Fuck this episode. It was the best episode of season six. 